you heard me? I be yeah. seeing you, I be listening, you heard me? I'm just in the cup right now, they got a muzzle on me. You know what I'm saying? They still got me on the leash a little bit, you heard me? But yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 be stepping out real shortly, you heard me? What do you feel about the rumors though? Hey, Jizzle, listen. I ain't got to ask you what you feeling about the room. Let me tell you something. I know it hurt. Man, listen, listen, no, let me man, tell you this. Well, we understand and we bump our head. Look, Go ahead. At, at, first, at first, I was feeling some type of way, but, you know, the niggas who opinion matter reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, 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 I've been paying attention to this internet, right? And, and this internet a fool. You heard me? Like, this shit a beast. You heard me? Like, you know, the internet undefeated and the truth don't yeah. need no co-signer. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once I talked to my real jail, niggas reached out to me and, and they heard about it. And then the niggas on the streets that I know standing on law and standing on business, you know, they like, man, listen, man, I don't even pay that mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just trying to, you know, use your light to bring them out they darkness. You know what I'm saying? So Man, you know, look, be, look, BG, look, I be man, in L.A. Yo, oh, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in once again on one of the most unproductive, unneeded, unnecessary conversations that every single time it comes up in media with rap, it tends to go viral, get a lot of posts, reposts, likes, shares, comments, and all the above snitching. And as I tell y'all all the time, I do not care. I'm only going to speak on it because I know it's going to get y'all here. And once y'all here, we can spill the real on the conversation. Because I see it's going on more and more nowadays. Where people are continuing to try to mix the prison yard with the playground. See, the internet, the algorithm, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, that's the playground. The prison yard is something different. Now... One thing is we got a lot of intermixing and mingling between the two now. But the overall mindset is the playground is this is just content. It's for conversation. It's for entertainment. But in that prison yard, on that pavement, outside for real, for real, in that trench, in that water, that's where you get stabbed up, poked up, and cut up, and ended at for these type of conversations of snitching. And I had a link in the description where you can watch this in full at when it comes to BG on Pop Austin Media YouTube channel where BG called in the TTE Naughty and briefly addressed it that, hey, the people that really don't, the people that really matter, my people that's in jail, my real partners in the real world, I talked to them about it and they told me, man, don't even worry about that, man. That's that internet talking, everything of that nature. I did see things come online. I didn't watch the full video. The rumor was going out. It was all over the blogs and stuff. Then uh, 1090J did a video on it. And uh, I didn't even watch that video either. I seen a few clips on the gram and things of that nature. But anybody else I heard speak on it also, I heard a lot of ifs. I hear a lot of I thinks, and when I hear that, when it comes to snitching, if I thinks, that means it don't need to be really spoke on yet on this playground, which it don't need to be on the playground at all, but I don't make the rules here do what y'all do. This is for the prison yard. Separate the two, because it's not real here. It's for entertainment. It's for clicks. It's for views, as I keep telling y'all all the time. Snitching is snitching. Telling is telling. But when I hear if, I think, maybe, if this or that, oh, the guy took the case, agreed to take the case, but then decided to come back, I don't want to take the case no more. You know what? That sounds like something that needs to be handled on the prison yard and on the pavement and not the playground. But I'm going to tell y'all the real right here. Ain't none of this stuff right here new, bro. Niggas been snitching and telling forever. I ain't talking about BG and him. I'm just talking about how the game go. This is why I tell y'all. Well, I'm not concerned with it because I'm not finna do nothing to no nigga if he snitch or told. I'm not finna put hands on no nigga. I'm not finna kill no nigga. So why am I really entertaining and concerning these conversations? Or why is anybody else for your own amusement? You don't really care about it. And the street niggas on the internet, when I brought that up, they told me, hey, bro, you condone the snitching in. Nigga, I care about the snitching as much as you do. Because when you see that nigga, is you going to go in his face and call him a snitch? Is you going to go poke him up? Is you going to go shoot him? So guess what? As I said before, I don't agree with snitching or telling. I'm not okay with snitching or telling for nobody. Any man that commits a crime, he should be able to do his time. That ain't got nothing to do with the streets with me. That's man code. That's how I was raised as a man. 
If you go out here and do something, you take accountability for what you did and you gotta be willing to accept them consequences as your own man. That's character. That comes back from our culture with the slavery days. That's deeper than the streets, bro. It's called morals and principles. Slavery days, hey, don't tell master who ran away. Hey, don't tell master we devising a plan to get out this system of oppression that we in. Don't tell the police, which was the slave catchers, who ran away or where they hiding at. Or don't tell them the route to go look for the slaves at. See, it go back deeper than this street stuff with my people. It's just some of the morals and prints of our, of our people got aligned with the streets also. And then you go to the Italian monster days with the old murder. We see how many of them violated that. They all, go look it up. They all, you can go look at Vlad TV. A lot of them will tell you how they told and they didn't stick to the code. So I'm going to tell y'all this once again, bro. As I tell y'all all the time, I'm not doing nothing to nobody. And the biggest advice I can give to any nigga in these type of situations, don't break no law and to do a crime if you know you can't fade that time. Stick within your realm. See what crime you going to do what type of time it carries. And if you know you can't tear that time and deal with the judge reading that off to you, don't do it. A lot of my people out here in the trenches in the streets, they gotta hustle, they gotta get their paper. You gotta take care of your family, I get it. Do what you gotta do, nigga. I salute you to take care of your family. Most definitely, nigga, cause I can't offer you no way out. All I'ma tell you and give you the best advice, stay out the way, stay out the mix, and don't keep these niggas in your business because these niggas get up in your business. They're going to go tell your business to get them out of the business that they was in to keep them out of that prison cell and that pen. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. Man, we go ahead. At first, at first, I was feeling some type of way, but, you know, the niggas who opinion matter reached out to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, 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 I've been paying attention to this internet, right? And, and this internet a fool, you hear me? Like, the beast, you hear me? Like, you know, the internet undefeated and the truth don't need no co-signer, you hear me? You know